Good morning once again. Welcome to a very special place. Here we are at Bowman's Hill Wildflower Preserve, a nationally recognized botanical garden focusing specifically on native plants here in Pennsylvania. There's as many as 2,000 different plant species throughout the state and it's known to have, there's known to be as many as 700 individual species occurring within the 134 acres of this magical place. So we're going to explore it today. We're going to see what we see. It's a beautiful spring morning. There's flowers everywhere. It's a great day to be alive. Come along with me for an adventure. Let's hit that trail. All right, guys. Bowman's Hill Wildflower Preserve. Gator out. My understanding is that there's about four and a half miles of uh, hiking trails here but they're all tiny little trails that just go in different directions so i've never been here before i'm just going to explore the area try to take as many good shots as i can um, i'm seeing some incredible plants here definitely is a beautiful spot so we're just going to play it by ear today we were the uh second ones to enter the um, bowman's hill opens at nine o'clock in the morning and there is a ten dollar uh, entrance fee, but the fee goes to preserving and cultivating native plants here, so it's well worth it. One of the interesting and really uh, smart things they did here at Bowman's Hill many years ago was erect a 10 foot high deer fence around most of the property. And what that does is it prevents deer from coming in and eating all these uh, uh, native plants. And if you travel through Pennsylvania, that's one of the biggest issues in the forests is the overabundance of deer uh, decimating the native plants and causing the non-native plants to pro proliferate. So uh, it's one of the reasons why there's such a diversity of, of beautiful plants here. This place is truly amazing. All right, my friends, 
this field of wood poppy, which are the yellow flowers, and the Virginia bluebells. This is the most beautiful field of wildflowers I've ever seen. It's even more impressive than Shanks Ferry from last week, if you can believe that. What a special place here. This is remarkable. Talk about hitting a place at the right time. Absolutely magical. And this little section here is just below the visitor center. So we haven't even scratched the surface yet. Unbelievable. Tiny trails here, many trails, very tiny trails. We're talking tenth of a mile, quarter of a mile. That's mostly what we're looking at in terms of length. So it's kind of like a choose your own adventure place. You can just wander around. There's no real uh, circuit hike here, but it's an amazing place. Nice little colony of eastern prickly pear cactus there. Many people don't know that cacti do grow natively in this part of the country. That's the only species, uh, if you recall, coming across that colony in Thomas F. Breeden Preserve, which is in New Jersey, but actually not that far from here. So maybe that's a coincidence, but rather interesting. What a beautiful day. You know, all my life I've been walking in the woods uh, since I was as old as I can remember and for most of the time I was always focused on doing miles and uh, getting a workout and getting through it as fast as I can. This place is a great reminder how important it is to take your time and soak in everything around you. There's so much to be seen if you just take your time and go slow. I, I never really appreciated wildflowers the way I do now but their season is short because once the tree, uh, the leaves start coming in on these trees, they'll mostly all be gone. But take your time out there and get out there. It's a beautiful world and it needs to be explored. Thanks for coming along with me on this adventure. I appreciate you. I just can't get over the amount of flowers out here especially the Virginia bluebells which we've seen at Shanks Ferry I think there's as many or more here but I'm seeing more different species here uh, perhaps because it's another week later in the season uh, these yellow wood poppies that are everywhere they're truly wonderful too We're into the uh, 
into the back of the preserve now and it's a lot quieter here they call these trails difficult but this is the easiest um, difficult trail I've ever been on but uh, it's a little quieter back here a little more of like a wooded setting than a like a garden setting but I, I just can't get over this place I must have seen close to two dozen species of flowers now I'm not an expert on uh, differentiating between and, and naming all the species but I'm learning a lot here this is a great place for kids and families very easy to uh, get around here check out the amazing uh, circumference diameter of this uh, old sycamore tree I believe they are the like the girthiest trees that grow in the uh, eastern United States you can see it's an absolute giant and uh, it probably lived for a long time but even now it's still serving a purpose as a work of art I guess you would say they have all these cool holes and I think it's really made for like kids to play around in so another cool thing here at the Boatman's Hill Wildflower Preserve. All right, my friends, that was Bowman's Hill Wildflower Preserve in beautiful scenic Bucks County here. We've been here for about three hours. It's now 12 o'clock and this place is getting very crowded. This place is absolutely beautiful, good for kids. I've seen lots of older folks. The trails are really easy. The flowers were amazing. We're at the end of April. This may be the peak time here. It's also a Sunday. So if you can get here during the week, that would be a much better move. But when you got a, when you got a job and you got to work, you know, what can you do, right? They sell plants here. Uh, I bought myself one of these uh, wood poppies to put in a like shady spot in my uh, yard. All the proceeds go to their purpose here, uh, cultivating and protecting and promoting uh, native plants here in Pennsylvania. So thanks again for joining me. It's a beautiful day here. I appreciate you. If you have any comments or questions, let me know. And uh, please give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Until next time, see you on the trail. Gator. Mm -hmm.